Hey YouTubians, what's up? I'm another XYZ and welcome back to another club banger. Today we're hanging out in r slash I don't work here lady. These are stories of people who get confused for working at places. So we're just gonna hop right in. Not a bouncer. I actually have quite a number of stories along these lines and I honestly don't know why. For context, at work I wear a uniform, a very obvious uniform. So people asking me questions there makes sense. And I'm used to it that when I'm at other places and get questions, I will help people out automatically. That being said, all these other places tend to have a defined uniform, and I wear a kilt and a comfy t-shirt or plaid bottom down when I'm not at work. This story happens at the bar. I frequent, I go there to dance. I was going between the two dance floors, like normal, and most likely had been seen by this drunk chick helping a couple out. Nothing out of the normal. She then grabs me as I'm walking by and points to a chick and says, she is trash, you need to get her out of here, to which I respond, sorry, what? I am genuinely not catching what the hell she means by this. It is loud, and she's also nowhere near sober. She then repeats, my friend is fully intoxicated, you need to escort her out, to which I respond, sorry, I can't help, I don't work here. She then calls BS and says, you're a bouncer, now go do your job. I again let her know that I don't work here. She then tugs at my t-shirt and says, then why the hell are you wearing this? Please note, the bouncers all wear black t-shirts that say security on them. I am wearing a fluorescent orange shirt with the name of my gym on it. Also note that all the bouncers wear jeans and boots, while I'm wearing a kilt and loafers. I explain that it is a gym shirt and point out that an actual bouncer who happened to be walking near us. I stop him and say, she has something she needs to ask you. And then she proceeds to tell him she wants him to help with her friend. She then says, and this guy was no help at all. You should talk to your manager about him. At which point he looks at me with a, what the heck, look. I'm buddies with him, but he knows I don't work there. And he tells her that. Then she repeats the same, then why is he wearing that? And then says, what, a t-shirt and an effing kilt? I leave at that point. I swear, I, I think she still thinks I work there. Rest of the night went pretty well though. Got a few hours of line dancing in. First off, this person is a little bit eccentric. I mean, it's cool to wear a kilt or whatever, but kilt and line dancing, that's it's unique. It's very, it's very unique. And I don't know how this person is confused for a bouncer at all, especially if the people are wearing black t-shirts to say security on them. But I mean, let's be real. I think uh, if y'all are purveyors of the alcoholic beverages, um, you guys have probably at least once been in a situation where you've been a little too drunk and things didn't clearly make a whole lot of sense. And I think that's kind of where this comes from. I don't work here, but you can have one of my rings. This happened a long while ago, but I remembered it and thought I would share it here. I hope it's okay. I was walking around Walmart and I had on my work uniform and blue jacket. I work at a fast food restaurant, so it would be easy to confuse me from behind with the slacks and shoes that workers here wear along with my jacket. Anyways, I was in the craft section looking for colored pencils and a woman pulls me aside. Excuse me, miss. Where are the sewing supplies? I just passed it. I'm not exactly sure where it is, but I think it's over there. I don't work here. I pointed over on the left and she caught a glimpse of my rings. I wear them around quite frequently and I love making them. They're wire wrapped. Ooh, where did you get those? Those look really beautiful. Sorry, I thought you did. I told her how I make them and that I don't mind her having one. I gave her a black one with purple beads wrapped around a bigger purple bead. She looked really happy with it as she walked away. I wonder where that ring is at now sometimes. That's actually a delightfully wholesome story for uh, I Don't Work Here Lady. I seem to stumble across these a lot, a lot the I Don't Work Here wholesome stories, which honestly, I, I don't mind it. It's nice to see a little, uh, little uh, happiness in humanity every now and again and restore my faith and everything, so always a delightful addition. I'm 13, not 21. TLDR at the bottom. So I was in ASDA, a UK shop in Barnstable. I was wearing a green shirt, which is the color scheme of ASDA, so yeah, you can see what's going to happen. So I was in the cafe eating a wrap when and Karen came up to me and practically screamed at me for being a lazy teen and a waste of space. Here is pretty much what she said. K for Karen, MM for nice manager, me for me, of course, you're not stupid. Excuse me. What? Why aren't you working? Because I'm only 13. Don't lie to me, you're wearing the uniform. No, I bought this at Prim. Don't lie to me, my husband is a police officer. And 
he will arrest you for assault. You know this Asda has cameras. I don't care. I'm going to tell your manager that you're being a lazy F and you like to assault a female customer. Now, I'm bisexual, so that remark hit me hard. First off, I do not work here, and what you called me is deeply offensive. She that grabbed my arm and pretty much dragged me to the customer service desk and called for a manager. She came down to see what the problem was. Ah, manager, fire this entitled lazy a-hole. He punched me in the breast. He does not work here. I'm also 13. Ma'am, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Edit. Lots of peeps want a reaction, and I do only remember something. My favorite thing she said to me was, I'm going to go shopping in Tesco now. I hope that the people working at Tesco are coping with her now. In the end, I was given a free juice burst, so it wasn't all that bad. Honestly, I don't really know what Asda is. I had to look it up to be able to pronounce it properly. I watched some videos of some people pronouncing it, and that's the closest I could get to it. I know what Tesco is though. I've been to a Tesco. I went to one, actually a couple while I was in Ireland. Uh, so I know a lot of those stores carry over. So it's kind of interesting to see people freak out like this. And of course using like very hurtful terminology against this person, just not cool. Uh, this whole situation was not cool. She's not happy that I got the last soup. It started out as a normal day. I have my guide dog with me and my partner who drives for me. We was in the store doing a little shopping trip. I'm wearing a dress. The workers wear blue and khakis. My partner is in a red polo and jeans. My partner helps me get the soup I like, which is chicken noodle. There's a lady that comes up to us and asks my partner if there's any more soup. My partner tells her, sorry, but no. Scary lady screams like she's on fire and says that we should be giving it to the poor people and she's going to get our manager on us. We tell her we don't work here and she tries to yank the soup out of our cart. My partner's a big guy and he gets it back. She isn't happy and goes gets a manager. We had to explain how all we wanted is soup and leave. Uh, that's gonna be a hard oof and a yikes for me. I know that like people see a polo and automatically assume that you work someplace, which to me is very strange because I mean, how many bros out there are wearing their polos pop to the sky and nobody ever confuses them for working anywhere. So eh, just, just whack. I work on Wall Street, B. This happened earlier this evening and I'm still laughing about it. I, female 20, was with friend, female 21, at the grocery store earlier this evening after a nice dinner. I was dressed up for this, which is important. She wanted to pick up some wine before we headed back to my house, and I wanted some chips. So I went into that aisle while she went to the wine display person for Rex. I was looking over things and deciding if I wanted Cheetos or salt and vinegar chips when I hear a commotion down the aisle. I glance over and see this old lady screaming at a hot guy in a suit. I couldn't even tell what she was freaking out about and then the guy suddenly goes for the last game time i don't work here i work on wall street b i snorted so loudly i had to cover my mouth something about the hot guy's voice and that line was so funny i'm usually one to gtfo and mind my own business when something like this happens and normally i would walk away quickly but i used to work in this grocery store and i remembered a story i read on here where someone pretended to be a manager to help someone out, so I thought I'd give it a go. I walk over and say, Excuse me, ma'am. I'm one of the managers. What seems to be the problem here? I think the nice outfit helped, even though the managers wear the same uniforms as the cashiers and cleaning staff and everyone else at the store, lol. The lady started ranting about how the dude wouldn't help her grab something on one of the higher shelves, and he should be fired for being so rude. I say, No problem. I'll take care of it. She seems satisfied with this, as the dude opens his mouth to protest. I turn so she can't see me wink at him. I say, let's discuss this in my office, young man. And we walk away from that old bat with a smug grin on her face. We walk a couple of aisles over and I burst out laughing. He asks if I'm actually a manager and I say, I'm only 20 and I worked here in high school and just rolled with it because I know how crazy customers can be and I thought I'd get away with it because I'm dressed up. He tells me he's just in town for a meeting and was stopping to get snacks before heading back to his hotel. He thanks me for the help and asks for my number to... Take me out to say thanks if I ever find myself in New York. I oblige and I'm currently awaiting his text call, lol. Best part is when my friend came back and we were checking in self-scan, the old lady was up front going through the cashier's line and looked at me so confused. I stuck my tongue out at her and we left, lol. She was dumb enough to think an average college kid was a manager. My friend was screaming laughing when I told her what happened. I was so caught up in the excitement I forgot to buy anything. 
Moral of the story, help out hot strangers. And I guess we'll end it on that one. <laughs> uh, what a moral of the story. Uh, also, the fact that they said that some stupid college kid could be a manager. Honestly, I worked at McDonald's and other places for like ever, and you wouldn't believe how many people like age 18 were managers. It was pretty much like, can you work the hours? Yes. Do you have a pulse? Yes. Will you do exactly what we tell you to? Bam. You a manager. Welcome to the manager game. You are now welcome to the world of upper management. It's very strange in some of the smaller companies and like grocery stores and things like that. I don't, I don't feel like, uh, well, I guess I don't know the hierarchy of grocery stores, but most of the places that I've worked at, it doesn't require a lot of experience. It just requires that you have the right availability and the willingness to sell your soul to do whatever the corporate corporation wants you to do at that point. All right, y'all. Well, thank you for joining me in r slash I don't work here, lady. Some more stories of people just getting confused for working at places and some people volunteering to be managers, apparently. As always, if there's any subreddits you want me to check out in the future or ones you want me to revisit, go ahead and drop them in the comment section down below. And I mean, like every other video, no glove, no love. Peace.